I'm Dr. Molly Meek and I'm an interventional radiologist at UAMS. There are lots of causes for you to have heavy menstrual cycles. One of the most common causes is something called fibroids. And fibroids are kind of abnormal tangles of muscle in your uterus, which is just a big muscle. The most definitive, the best way to get rid of your fibroids is to get rid of your uterus. And that's a hysterectomy. Not all patients want to have a hysterectomy or can have a hysterectomy because they can't have real surgery, open surgery with an incision. An interventional radiologist goes through the artery and puts a little plug in the arteries that feed your uterus and that causes those fibroids to shrink up and die, just like cutting off the blood flow to the tip of your finger with a rubber band. It's the same principle. You plug up the artery and the fibroids die. And that will solve the heavy bleeding, the cramping. Some patients have difficulty with pelvic pain or sexual intercourse or constipation or urinary troubles because their fibroids sit on their bladder or sit on their rectum. A hysterectomy is not necessary in all patients. There are some minimally invasive options and one of those is uterine artery embolization or uterine fibroid embolization. And it allows us through a little hole in your artery to plug up the blood vessels to your uterus and that makes the fibroids shrink up and die, which makes your cycles lighter and your cramping better. It can relieve other symptoms like urinary trouble or constipation. When we do a uterine artery embolization, we do it with a little bit of medicine in your IV, so you are sleepy but not asleep. We do it in one day, so you get to come in the morning and go home in the evening, and there's really no restrictions after 24 hours on your activity. If you're feeling good and you want to go back to work in two days, then you can go back to work in two days. There's no incisions to take care of, there's no wounds to worry about, um, and there's no restrictions on heavy lifting or activity or sexual intercourse or anything really. To get a hysterectomy requires general anesthesia, which means they put the breathing tube and put you on the breathing machine. Usually patients stay overnight to have a hysterectomy and their activities are limited after the surgery because it's a big surgery.